Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Mutiny Pirate Survival. How are we doing guys? Hope you guys are well. So today, I want to finally complete something that I've been holding off for so long. Why? Because I wanted to make a video about it. So that's what we're going to do today. Did notice the trader that was out there, so we do want to go ahead and check him out as well. And actually, you know what? Let's do that first. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that first. Sorry. I want to go see what the trader has. And at least this way we can quickly go back home and grab what we need if I need to grab some resources or supplies. So um, I believe I did this in my previous video as well. But again, trader is always a good shout to head out. You don't know what you're actually going to get and you may get very lucky. So, but every time you go to the trader, you do get some tin ore that you want to make sure that you want to grab so only because once you sort of progress a little bit further into the game um, you're going to need to make bronze um, and that's obviously above copper so copper weapons copper tools and all that sort of stuff you're going to get bronze equivalents as well and you do want to make sure that you do get this before it, uh, the timer runs out for the trader and unfortunately i had kind of broken the copper pickaxe but I've been going pretty hard actually for the last couple of days uh, just trying to get enough um, you know bits and pieces so like things like wood and all that sort of stuff and there we go so the first thing I wanted to grab but let's see what the merchant has for us today does he have anything interesting doesn't appear that way and it's always been the same thing and if you can get enough of this well we don't have I haven't seen iron ore yet in the game there's copper and unfortunately if you want to get chromite you can because you can purchase it if you really wanted to do so but I don't know if I should be doing that just yet because there's obviously no need for that uh, sulfur if you want to get your hands on sulfur to get some alcohol obviously you guys can but at the moment there's really not much else that we can get our hands on from here but as always I do like coming down here as well only because you get some free resources there's no impact all that you need is just at least a axe and a pickaxe because thereafter you're going to be able to carry yourself through and you want to um you know grab all of this it's not much but for those that might be struggling this is a really good way of just getting that little bit of resources to get you going because look we've all been there before where you just need that one or two pieces of materials and it's i don't know whether it's a dire situation or not it's just something that you guys can just get your hands on and at least that way you can sort of be on your way from thereafter look at this no physical impact no one here to sort of do or say anything you got the trader that's going to sit idly by probably just watch you while you're autoing around if you want to just hit the auto button or if you want to do it yourself that's entirely up to you we did go through an update as well and finally as you can see I've finally been able to change my gamer tag and it sticks. It's awesome now, finally, good. That's happened. And so we are actually on 0 0.2, 0 0.0 I believe it is. Yeah, so 0 0.2, 0.0. That's where we're up to right now in the builder thing. So um, not a lot has changed uh, in terms of content wise. They did address a lot of bugs. So one bug was the, the name change bug and the wretched, um, pop up that um, that basically crashes the game and you more or less have to go back into the game and you know continue on from thereafter massive inconvenience but it has been rectified and it is sorted which is great other little um, improvements here and there I did notice on my um, game that I was playing yesterday where for whatever reason I think it was not this one but I think over here Every time that I dispatch someone to go to come over here, I don't know what it is, but for whatever reason, it doesn't do it now, but it did come up in a different language, even though that I had the language setting to English. Don't know what that was all about, but it happened, and well, what else can you do? There's not really not much else that you can do from there. So unfortunately, it is what it is, but I'm sending him up that way anyway, because I want to get some... Um, uh, some logs and things like that and some bits and pieces and whatnot but right now i'm pretty content with some of the stuff that i've got i, I need more bamboo 
and only because I want to start expanding my base and just getting it filled out correctly. And more importantly, I want to get it done uh, before the um, uh, whoops, the pirate's anger happened. So I'm pretty much on the brink of that as well, actually. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to cover it, unfortunately. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. If you anger the pirates, it's exactly the same as Westland. If you anger the um, the raiders, they're going to come for you. You've got X amount of time to prepare yourself before they come through and try to attack your base. So the best thing you can do is gear yourself up and pretty much just get ready for, for them to arrive. Once they do that, then you just got to defend. I've got some weapons. I've got some guns now that I'm pretty comfortable with, I'd like to think. Um, I'm thinking about getting, crafting a few other bits and pieces just to sort of get myself um, going. But otherwise, aside from that, I think I'm good. So yeah, I think I'm good thereafter. Um, have we got a few more bits and pieces? Thank God for that. Very good. So this is, a, this is another thing I've been really annoyed about. Not too sure what's going on with these guys here. Um, I don't know if it was a bug, to be honest with you. That I can't honestly tell you. But I had crafted, well, set to craft a lot of these uh, jute and cane and things like that. And for whatever reason, don't know why, don't ask me, but it felt like these guys weren't progressing and crafting or anything like that. I have no idea why that was a thing, but it was and it's happened. And it just really slowed down the progressional side of things see look at all my bamboos now it was all done see that it's all there now beforehand it was just sitting there and i don't know these guys were lazy i don't know i don't have to go, i don't know i probably have to go speak to their union boss or something who knows but they were slacking they were really slacking and it was just really frustrating for me i think i might just actually do all of that as well at the same time but yeah not too sure what has happened there but anyway i think it was probably some sort of bug really not too sure anyway enough about that what we come to here to do today is we want to finally finish off the birth well births plural i need some pine boards let's go and grab those while we're at it and finally i've been wanting to do this for so long and now that i get the opportunity to do so i don't have to worry about this until i have to upgrade for the next stage so there is multiple stages and from what I've been able to see from other people, of course, let's go ahead and finalize him. We can now hire more sailors. So if I tap onto this fella again, this is the next criteria. Yes, you do need quite a bit. Walnut board, that's going to take a bit. The cotton fabric, I don't think that's going to take much for me, only because, well, I've gotten a lot of cotton and I might, well, you know what, I still might struggle with that. Anyway. The rum, I think I can come by pretty easily. Oil lamp, they come by easy. Sturdy hide, um, yeah, that might cause a bit of problems. And then I've got the bronze fasteners. That will take a little bit of time for me to do, uh, to actually, you know, accumulate and all that sort of good stuff. And I am stuck. I'm not. <laughs> I thought I was stuck. For some reason, oh, I had no, I have no idea why that was a thing. Anyway, now that I've done that, I've got two applicants here and if you look at them in terms of what they can do, labourer produces something on any work, workbench 15% 15 faster, 15 faster, I think I might want to go ahead and, and do that. Speed increased by 19%, I've got this fella here, meat and hides production increased by 26%, that's actually not bad, and then health increased by 14%. What has this guy got for me? He's got transportation across the sea faster by 19% and meat and hides production increased by 48%. So you know what? He's he's actually all right. And I'm actually really curious to know how um, Sailor defends this corner of the island under attack, but he can't stand someone alike at it. Okay. King Sailor, he shoots from afar and often keeps his distance of the enemy. And I've actually never really... Um, Hovered over these to check out what is what. So Thrasher, strong sailor, fights with a heavy hammer, but he can get tired in the middle of the action. And Senna, this fella is going to be uh, looking after the center of the base. And then we've got 
Yep, yeah, okay, sorry. Uh, 11% chance to make two objects at the work workshop. Oh, okay, I didn't realise that. Which is kind of neat. I'm actually interested into knowing how we can level these guys up. The level one at the minute. So I'm not too sure what that's going to do for me. But what do I want to do? I've already got that. And increase health. I think the... I think I want that. Yeah, I think I want to accept this fella. So now I've got three fellas. So now I've got a third. And he can go ahead and start making things whenever I need to kind of thing. Or whenever I sort of command it, I guess, at the end of the day. So, which is kind of neat. I'm actually really happy now. But yeah, I wish... There he is. So I've got one guy out. And I've got two guys here at base. So this is obviously going to increase productivity and things like that. So yes, I have been withholding this for a little bit because I wanted to make a video on it and I probably should have done it anyway, but I wanted to show you guys so at least you guys can see what is what. He's there now, he's doing that. And apparently this shouldn't take too long for him to, um, you know, craft things and whatever. So looking back on that anyway, as it is, going back to these fellas here. So the more that you do uh, quest lines, which I'm probably going to end up doing. So I've got this guy here. We've got this guy here. And then we've got this fella here. So, with all these guys that you can find, um, you'll have... Oh, jeez, I'm starting to lose hunger and whatnot. So while I race over and go to my food storage bin there, when you get different fellas coming in, you'll have the ability to seek out and check out what type of abilities these guys will have and what they can offer you as a player. So strategically for yourselves, you want to make sure that you have the best of everything. And obviously the better that you can upgrade this thing, that you can accommodate more players, oh, sorry, more uh, sailors to your crew, the better that your base is going to thrive. And obviously you're going to have more on a defense kind of um, side of things as well. So once you have that, I'm going to need to upgrade his weaponry as well because he's got some pretty bad weaponry. He's going to have to get himself a little bag as well. So we're going to fix that up for him. But yeah, I figured that this might be a good sort of introduction to, um, you know, getting these guys sort of on board. And at least this way, we can, let's go to equip. So he can equip with that and obviously that, look at him go. So he's got a little bit of space now so he can take a little bit more. And yeah, that's pretty much where that's at. So I can dispatch him as well, I believe, because there needs to be only one sailor left behind. So I can have essentially two guys going out for me and I can come back and I can get two lots of things and I can get a little bit more productiveness out of these guys so yeah that's pretty much where that is at now i need to know what type of weapon i can use for him um let's give him that i've got a quite a number of these guns so i'm not too fussed and i think you'd probably appreciate it if i gave him a handgun so let's go back to equip can i oh oh really they only have certain weaponry that you can use. Well, that's strange. I think I've got some other weapons around here that I can sort of muck around with too. Don't want to give them a torch, that's just silly. Let's take that and let's take that and that. I just want to see what he will take. So he won't take that. I can't even swap it around for that. So if I put that there, doesn't even like that and it's annoying because you can't give him a secondary weapon so does he do spears so he's only a knife user if i had a copper knife i would suspect um he would be able to use it actually do i have one in my inbox i think i do let's test the theory now okay whoops let's go back to that There you go. Oh, and then 
Oh, okay. I'll see how that works. So if I were to do that to any one of the other guys... Alright, well, I'm not going to make him use that just yet. I want to wait until I get more comfortable with, um, with resources and things like that. So I'm just going to pop that back in there for now. It's full capacity, so that's all good on my front over here. Um, I might take that, and I might take that with me today. And I'm going to have to dump some of this back into here. So yeah, so that's pretty much the berths as depth as you probably want it to be and just sort of giving you guys a bit of an idea on what to look for when you guys want to you know recruit new sailors for yourselves and at least this way you guys know exactly what's going on and you know how to better sort of prepare yourselves for it so i know we spent a little bit of time on that i just wanted to sort of touch base with that with you guys and just sort of give you guys a bit of an, a generalization and understanding Unfortunately, there has been no other events that have popped up on the minimap. So what I might do is I might row over here just to get some basic bamboo only because that I just want to get my base filled out nicely. So when I get new bits and pieces um, added to you know, my bases, things like that, whether it be workshops, whether it be storage, whatever it might be, um, at least this way I'm good to go more or less. And especially you know, if an attack is intimate, then at least I know I'm going to be a little bit okay and feel a little bit better for myself. That's pretty much where I'm sort of at with things. Um, I don't know if I need the cane, actually. I'm more interested in just other things right now. Oh, these guys here. And I'm actually interested, ooh, to see if the, the little banner will flash, indicating that I'm going to have um, some visitors coming to the base while well, he just got clattered against the um uh against this that was hilarious that was so good anyway um i'll grab all that actually you know what this can go back i've got a substantial amount of everything i really don't need more than what i've got here and i just want to grab you know things like the um uh this so i really want to grab some of that and just sort of grab all that I can sort of muster and see if you guys drop anything interesting for me. Maybe just some thin leather. That might be good because I think I might need some of that. So let's just get some bamboo as well at the same time. There we go. And at least this way I can just sort of run them up if I need to. And let's just get a few of you guys coming my way. Boom. Oh, I broke the weapon. Whoops. Oh well, I'm going to be wasting a f a bit, uh, some resources today. Didn't realise the um, the stone hammer just depleted that quickly. That is rather disappointing. But that's what I want to grab. I want to grab a uh, few of that and just grab the palm boards or palm logs, I guess. And what have we got over here? It's a little broken down area. Well, this fella here has seen better days, I guess. But we've got the uh, Komodo Dragon. And one more hit will do it. There we go. And good resource to get some meat as well. Some, like, nice tender meat. So, really, really good. And don't get me wrong, I love coming back into the basic zone. Because, A, I'm going to be at ease. I'm not going to have any sort of problems in, you know, running the zone. What well, my problem is, I just need a better backpack. I mean, I've finally got myself an upgraded backpack. I can't believe I lost my good backpack when that all happened. But, um, it happens, you know, so... What can you do? The big gorilla fella down there, I'm not going to bother with him today. Only because... I don't know, I don't feel like I get what I want from there. I don't know, it's just me. And... Is he following me? Oh, it's just one of these guys. And that takes forever to, um, to, uh, what do you call it, to hit him again. He's, um, the unfortunate, um, well, delay between that is quite significant. Why did I create that again? 
I wanted a, an axe, not a, another pickaxe. Are you serious? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was just foolish. I wasn't even thinking, I wasn't even concentrating. Well, that was my bad, of course. But I should be able to find enough stone around here. And we should be okay. There we go. A okay with that. Let's craft the right tool. There we go. And let's grab a few more pine, uh, pine logs. Why not? Oops. Okay. And we'll grab a few over here. So I, sh I know I should really be using copper um, copper axes at this point, and you know what? It'd probably be the best thing for me to utilize. I don't know. I still like using the basic things. It's just easy that way, and I don't have to worry about utilizing um, palm planks because you're going to have to craft the planks in order for you to uh, craft your copper axe and pickaxe respectively. And I don't think there's any more palm boards, is that, I think, oh sorry, logs, I think that's all that you get in the zone. Which is not bad. Definitely not bad at all. Alright, so let's just continue and grab a few more of these. What are you doing, buddy? There we go. Cool. But yeah, I'm happy that I've got, now I've got three... Uh, sailors here at my base so at least this way now I can get a little bit more productivity happening and if I want I can get two of the guys to you know venture out while I'm not playing the game and then they can do what they need to do come back and then I can get the benefits from what they have provided me I wonder if you can actually send two to the one zone that might be something that I might want to look into I don't know I don't know if you guys have already tried that. If you have, let me know in the comments because I think I would like to know that. That would be really, really interesting for me. Anyway, let's craft up another one of these bad boys and break a few more of these. But pretty much that's all I'm going to be doing for today, guys. Um, so, look, I think it might be a good time to go ahead and leave it for today. So, as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, a lot of buzz around the game and I hope you guys are enjoying it I, from the comments it sounds like you guys are I know you guys just want to get the game in your hands as much well as soon as possible really and they, they are saying at the end of the summer now we can't really know what the end of summer means I mean end of summer where they're based end of summer in one region or another Look, who knows all that I can really speculate is when people, well, when developers generally generalize the end of summer, they mainly sort of mean by the end of summer in, say, the United States. And I think that's probably the best example I can sort of give you guys right now. So if we go by that, end of summer might mean, I would imagine, August this year. That's probably where, where that's at. And if that sort of holds true, then I, I guess we'd probably know a little bit more from there by then by then so i think that would be the case i don't know but that's for the developers to sort of work on um and for us to sort of hold tight well for a lot of you guys unfortunately i mean for me i want to keep playing this as much as possible and hopefully once you guys are able to play the game you guys can reference a lot of my videos because i would have pretty much covered everything by then that's what i'm hoping for but then again you know if they decide to expedite the, the release date, you guys might get it sooner and I may not be able to get to where I need to be, but hopefully I'll have a lot of things in place by then. That's that's the aim. And hopefully you guys will, you know, refer back to these videos. I guess that's the whole idea for this sort of thing. So yeah. Anyway, we're off. I'm done. And look, do all the good do all the good stuff for me guys, as per usual. So do all of that if you can. What would be the best thing for me is if you can share the video. If you share the video, wherever it might be, um, share my playlist actually. At least that way that, um, everyone can see the multiple videos that have already been uh, made. But share it on uh, socials. Hey, what are you doing, warrior? Let's, oh, hey, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, I just got him at the end. 
what did you give me? So another axe, which is nice, always nice. Pickaxe I'll leave there, the club I'm going to leave there, I'm not going to bother with that. So hmm, there you go, nice little present at the end. But yeah, if you guys can share it, that'd be fantastic. If you guys are new to the channel, based on this game or any other survival games that you guys are playing, um, consider subscribing. I do play a lot of other survival based games and I'm sure you guys will like them all the same. So go ahead, check that out, a like and comment, do all the good stuff. Anyway, take it easy guys and as always, I will catch you guys next time.